Hello, my name is John Lee, and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting, which is a company, an online training company, that helps students prepare for ASQ certification exams. I love ASQ certifications. I have passed most of their certification exams. I'm also a Lean Bronze certified and a Shingo Award-winning author. CQA is one of my favorite ASQ certifications. It's a great general certification that can help you in most industries because it teaches you how to audit, which is a great skill set. All right, let's go on and learn about the requirements that you must meet in order to sit for the ASQ CQA certification exam. To do that, we'll go to the ASQ website. All right, so here we are at the ASQ website under a, uh, requirements for taking the ASQ CQA exam. Uh, candidates must have worked a, in a full-time paid role Intern, co-ops, those don't count. Must be a paid role, full-time paid role. Okay, and candidates must have eight years of on-the-job experience in one or more of the areas of the certified quality body of knowledge. So eight years, that's quite a bit. That's more than most of the certifications. But to be a great auditor, you definitely need to have experience. Okay, and if you have education, however, diplomas, degrees, you can cut out of that eight years. So eight years, kind of, you must have at least that much, maximum eight years. If you have a diploma from a technical or trade school, one year will be waived. So a diploma from technical or trade school, you're down to seven years requirements. If you have an associate's degree, you can waive two years. So if you have an associate's degree, you need six years of experience. If you have a bachelor's degree, you can waive four years. So where are we now? Eight years minus four years. You're down to four years experience if you have a bachelor's. If you have a master's or doctor's degrees, five years can be waived. That gets you down to three years. Now there is one caveat here, and that is if you have already been certified in ASQ in quality engineering, reliability engineering, supplier quality professional, software quality engineer, quality manager. If you have any of those certifications, then you can go ahead and take the ASQ CQA exam because the requirements of those and having that certification says that uh, that gives you enough experience to take the exam. So there you have it. Uh, for the most part, maximum eight years, just in summary. Uh, trade school, one year wave, makes it seven. Associate, two years, gets you down to uh, six years. Bachelor's, four years, means you have to have four years experience. Master's or doctorates, then you wave five, gets you down to three years in summary there. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you have any questions, please contact me, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.